What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Jennifer, Alec, and Thomas have already met up and they are currently herping and finding king snakes without me. We're gonna meet up and hopefully find some cool snakes today before the sun goes down. So we have all day tomorrow as well and I think the next day to herp with them. So hopefully we'll see some good stuff. But yeah, that's the plan. I will check back in with you guys when I get closer to them or when I find a king snake. there they're waiting on me I gotta catch up I assume that's Jennifer Alec and Thomas it's about to get good hopefully we're out here in this beautiful habitat this morning and we're gonna hike around and look for some snakes we got Alec Thomas and Jennifer with us today so it should be interesting we've already got our first snake of the day and it's only been a few minutes in beautiful little corn snake. Uh, Alec just peeled him under bark, so as beautiful as this, like, this guy is, we're gonna take a few pictures and keep moving because, ooh, he's twitching his head. We wanna keep moving and see if there's any bigger game out, but beautiful little corn snake. You know you got good herpers with you when they don't tear the bark off the tree and they find a corn under it. Good stuff. Look at that guy. Will the carpet have anything today? I guess it's probably not. That was correct. What about the boards? My guess is a skink. Not even a skink. Roaches, something. More roaches. A grub, ants. Centipede. Yeah. Roaches. All right, come on, coral. Please. Snake shed. Nothing. Hey, slimy. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll keep moving. All right, Thomas just flipped our next snake of the day. It's a beautiful little southern ringneck. That's a particularly handsome one. He's out of shed, looks healthy. Maybe we'll get a coral now, who knows? Works. Well, we hiked up an indigo. Is he gonna, he's not gonna go to, oh, he's there going he to burrow. Yep, he knows where he's going. There's a burrow right there. It's really big, all stretched out. Yeah. That's only what, a, probably a three foot snake? Somewhere in there? No idea. They're so smart. Yeah. I love that. They're good. Alrighty. Well, we, have seen some neat stuff out here ran to an indigo we saw the corn and a little ring neck but it's getting a little bit chilly and the activity isn't too crazy today the indigo was near its burrow and so um anything out basking is probably sticking close to its hibernaculum because it is still kind of chilly and even though i got up to 69 today it's starting to cool off now because we're in the afternoon and uh, the sun hasn't come out and stayed out for any period of time. So it's looking like flipping things might be the move. So we're gonna go a little bit down the road from here, about two miles um, and do some flipping at a nice flip spot and we'll see what we get. So stay tuned. Salamander? Nice. Day. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Big boy 10. Layers. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at what that's just insane. Wish it wasn't so late in the day. I wish it wasn't so late in the day. <laughs> Georgia by November <laughs> and stuff like that. What? I don't know. This is weird. Some red ones and stuff. All right, guys, so I was just hiking out here in this beautiful habitat, some nice flat woods. I'm in Florida now, in North Florida, and uh, heard some rustling in the bush here, and I looked, and it was this beautiful little racer. So, really cool. Glad to see him. Glad snakes aren't moving today, so I'm going to keep looking to see if I can turn anything else up. But the temperature's real nice. It's in the high 50s. As you can see, there are snakes moving, and it's a good sign that spring is on the way. Being that in the past few days, I've gotten to see a fair amount of snakes where it's been kind of dead lately. But it looks like a southern black racer for the most part, but he's got a very brown nose. So he could have some brown chin influence. Uh, he's got some brown on his nose and brown on his upper lip. And we're pretty close to where the brown chins are. So could be some brown chin influence, but um, pretty cool. Nice snake to start the day with. Really good condition, very healthy, stout racer. So, but I'll let him go. Just gonna take a few photos and we'll keep moving. Hopefully, that's a good sign. It means snakes are just starting to come out. I'm on this boardwalk here in North Florida. I was just looking for things basking, and right there, it's a big old banded water snake. Pretty one, too. That size, usually, they're not that uh, vividly marked. He's got some nice bands. Really cool. We're just going to leave him there. He looks happy. He's out basking, so don't want to spook him into the water because it's probably quite cold still. Looks like he came out of a crack in that log. So uh, we're just going to leave him there, but cool snake. Glad to see stuff still out. The world's on fire. It's a controlled burn for the habitat to keep it like it is. It's pretty neat to see, though. Anyway, I'm probably heading home now from Florida. Um, I spent the, uh, Valentine's Day down visiting my girlfriend in northern Florida. So um, I'm heading back now. I've got work tomorrow, unfortunately. But I saw a few snakes while I was down here, so that means they're definitely starting to move more and more. And the fact that we saw a few things the other day, it, it bodes well for the next few weeks, hopefully, and uh, the start of spring. Just got off work, and I'm heading out to do a little bit of flipping while I still got some daylight. I hope we can get a king snake, that would be awesome. I'm gonna hit a few little sites close to my house, nothing too crazy. Let's see what we got here. Give it to me. Oh, king snake. There it is. He's there. You cutie. Alrighty guys, we got what we came here to see. Um, yeah, I can't really ask for much better than that. 
beautiful eastern king snake and i kind of figured it would be here since it's one that's been seen before by one of my friends but either way awesome to see it still here enjoying this tin yeah, I'll never complain about a good king snake. Don't have my camera with me, but you know, I'm gonna take a few cell phone shots and we will move on. Well, let's flip the rest of this tin just to make sure there's nobody else hiding. Hiding around here. Oh, another one! Oh my god! Another king snake! crap good lord okay well this just got even better okay <laughs> oh my gosh double king flip that's incredible all right let's go through the rest of this tin so come to think of it i'm not so sure that first king snake that we flipped was a recapture because evidently there's more than one here well this is just incredible <laughs> look at these two beautiful snakes so different although they are very similar uh, in their pattern it's just very very different one of them's got a way higher band count it looks like so cool they're both in perfect condition out of shed beautiful healthy king snakes this is good stuff guys i'm very happy with this i'm thinking this bigger one's actually the one that uh jennifer saw i think that smaller one's a new snake completely so good deal all right so upon closer inspection this little one here the smaller one is indeed a female so this may be a pair uh, that's a, a male he's a lot longer as you can see um, they could be around the same age because with king snakes the males are usually bigger uh, which is kind of unusual for snakes reptiles in general usually the females are a bit bigger but no, with king snakes the males are actually the ones that are a good bit bigger than the females female king snakes are usually a bit stockier this one's not very stocky but it's also a pretty small snake so you know it's not a 100% thing I'm gonna let this male go first since I think this one has been captured before so we're gonna put him back in a stack and we're gonna take a closer look at this female this grass is perfect for king snakes I would put them in together because they could be a pair but I don't know they could have already made it I don't know uh, whatever the story may be they weren't together when I found them so I'm not gonna release them under the same piece but uh, yeah, she'll go back in hers. What a darling snake she is, though. She's so cute. You can see her one giving me a chomp, and she is giving me a chomp now. Ah! <laughs> All right, we've gotten a great look at this beautiful little girl. We're gonna put her back under her tin so that she can stop mauling my hand. But yeah, what a magnificent little creature. Before I put her back, I just flipped this little piece of siding, and there's race runners under here, which is cool. I'm going to leave them there because they're brumating, but there were two, one darted, but evidently they're warm enough to move around a little bit, so I'm just going to... Oh, he went in his burrow. We're going to put this back. Hi, sweetheart. Hopefully she will drop some babies this year.